what is the difference? Like, okay, you get promoted. So we know account executive, generally you're going to make more money. Mm -hmm. But apart from making more money, what is the difference in terms of roles? Between an SDR and an account exec? Yes. So um, an account exec, uh, essentially, like in my, in my job, you're in charge of managing, for the most part, the uh, the end-to-end -end sales cycle of um, deals you're trying to close and maintaining the relationship with the client. So, mm -hmm. and you work closely with SDRs and they um, they essentially go out there and they're, they're prospecting and they're trying to acquire new customers. So what an SDR does is they, they have a set list of accounts um, and maybe an area of like, okay, we're looking to, to sell to businesses within a specific area, mm -hmm. maybe a specific state. Um, so you reach out to um, potential customers that fit that criteria and you have what's called a discovery call with them. So a discovery call yeah. is basically you're a beginning conversation where you figure out, you qualify a lead, the lead. Mm -hmm. You figure out, okay, is this a, a customer who will buy from us? Like, will our product that we're trying to sell solve the particular pain points and needs that yeah. they're trying to solve? Um, and are they likely to buy it? Like, do they have the budget in place to buy from us? Um, so you ask those questions and you essentially qualify, okay, this could be a potential customer who will buy from us mm -hmm. and, and we can sign a deal with them. So then after that initial discovery call, once you've qualified the lead, then you pass that on, um, that lead on to the account executive you're working on. And from there, then they uh, take that uh, information and then they call up the customer, the prospect again, and then they start continuing with the conversations and really building out, okay, what is the problem you're trying to solve? Yeah. Uh, you know how maybe we can do a POC to see how our our technology. Do you can work solve with issues? uh so so, so, so yeah, obviously yeah. I'm a sales engineer yeah and my side of it is that depending on the company so uh, depending on the company I might be at one company where the sales engineer might be a part of the discovery mm -hmm. to some degree but then I've also worked like my first company Dialpad. No, I was never part of any discovery. Yeah, literally, mm -hmm. all I did was my. You were brought in for I the just demos. a demo. Yeah. That's it. Yeah. So, as an account executive, do you have you been a part of demo? Like, have you looped in sales? So engineers? it's funny in my particular role right now. I've been involved with N10. I've been the person actually doing the doing discovery the cover yeah. call okay. uh, as well. Um, so I do work with SDRs, but at the same time, I pretty much manage the whole relationship with the client or or new prospects um, and I'll loop in sales engineers to do the demo when necessary and I'll be on the call of course um, and help facilitate um, those conversations but um, for me I think it really just depends on the company you work for but I I kind of like being managed I'm, maybe I'm a little bit of a control freak but I like managing the whole relationship yeah. and then I bring in the right people that I need to in order to, again, drive that sale to yeah. make sure that it closes. Um, so that's the responsibility I take on. And again, I what I love about tech sales too is you work with so many different people. Not only are you mm -hmm. talking to clients and different businesses day to day, but again, internally you're working with so many different groups. You're working with um, your, your sales engineers yeah. to help you know do de demos and proof of concepts. You're working with the SDRs to help, again, qualify leads. You're working with product managers because the product managers um, are in charge, you know, making sure certain features of a product yes. are there. Um, and then you're kind of an extension of that because then you take that and then you that sell product. that. Yeah. <laughs> you sell the product yeah. and you're trying to sell that dream and idea too. And maybe product managers are not super happy with sellers because we, we might come back and be like, hey, the customers say this doesn't, you know, this they want to have yeah. this pro this feature and we don't have it and yet. And they're like, that's not on the roadmap. <laughs> yeah, yet. the roadmap, yeah. exactly. You always hear, uh, essentially there's this roadmap where yeah. uh, product managers, you know, for a product they'll they'll release certain features based on customer yeah. need. Um, oh, that's slated to come out yeah. in, in Q3 And then you'll have sellers will like, hey, I'm trying to close this deal. Like the, they'll yes. buy right away if this feature is available. So can we get that done? So little things like that. But again, having those, I work with customer success managers, which um, is more of a post-sales support role, mm -hmm. but they uh, also have, they're incentivized as well to work with me uh, because for instance, if I already have a, I have a mix of both new, net new customers and established customers. So if I already have an established customer, my goal is to get them to buy more from us, to grow um, on, let's just say our cloud. Right now I currently sell my company's cloud services. So to help them grow, uh, grow on our cloud so that we can bring in more revenue. So I work closely with them because they're also incentivized 
to have the revenue grow as well as a post sales um, support team essentially. So little things like that, I love the relationships that I get to build both internally and externally from my company.